Hi everyone, we are looking at a video protocol of Cambrian Bioworks' magnetic bead based extraction kit for high quality, high molecular weight DNA. The sample type that we are going to focus on for this video will be whole blood. However, uh, if you're talking about very difficult and challenging samples like POC, amniotic fluid, DBS card, etc., the other video links are actually down in the description below. If you're looking to isolate good quality DNA from whole blood samples, here's a video protocol for you. So we quickly start by unpacking the buffers that we have on hand. We take out and ensure that all the buffers supplied to you are put in place in one area. Double check this against your content list. Identify proteinase K which is in the lyophilized format and add the 300 microliter of proteinase K diluent that we've supplied to you onto the lyophilized proteinase K. And keep this preparation ready for immediate use. If you're storing this post a couple of extractions, ensure that the protein is at least is stored at night. All right, coming back to adding sample to our uh, reaction vessel, which is a standard microcentrifuge tube or a print of tube as you may call it. Add 200 microliter of whole blood sample. That's what we suggest. And if you're adding 200 microliter of whole blood sample, add exactly 200 microliter of PL2 to the solution. Now PL2 is what you start with in case of whole blood. Like I said, for other kinds of sample types, you may have to start with PL1, but uh, more information about that in the links below. In case of whole blood, add PL2, add the sample, and to this mix, add 30 microliter of proteinase K diluent that you've just prepared and kept aside. And now this is what we call a lysis mix. Now incubate this lysis mix at 70 C for 10 minutes. Now make sure that 70 C is 70 C and it's not somewhere between 50 or 60. Uh, try to be very, very specific about these two parameters because we've observed that this is one of the very important steps to ensure maximum yield and good purity uh, in the outcome. Once the incubation is done, add 500 microliter of the binding buffer to this and another 20 microliter of cam beads to the solution. Now cam beads are the beads, the magnetic beads that will hold all the DNA in place uh, and help you keep the DNA uh, clean and purified for the end reactions. Once vortexed, remove the supernatant from this mix. Now do it very carefully the first time and ensure that you see the beads are separated. And uh, once you visually can look at the beads, then it gets much more easier uh, for the next steps. Add wash one to this mix, 600 microliter of it, uh, when you're starting with a 200 microliter of original sample. And uh, vortex that mix thoroughly, do it for long, do it for as much time as prescribed in the protocol. Once that is done, Ensure that the bead settle down back on the magnetic stand again. Now, don't rush this step like we are showing in the video. This is just a representation purpose, but allow it to settle naturally at its own pace. It takes just about a minute or two. Once that is done, only then remove the supernatant. Now, wash two is exactly like wash one in terms of steps. Add 600 microliter of it to the beads that have settled down. Vortex the mix thoroughly. Place it back on the mag stand and allow the beads to settle very very carefully and make sure that your supernatant is very very clear by this point. That means all the beads have settled and you're removing the impurities when you're removing the supernatant. The last step uh, in terms of washes would be an ethanol wash. Now this would be with an 80% ethanol that you've freshly prepared at the beginning of the protocol setup. 100% uh, ethanol is also added to your wash one and wash two bottles and another 100% uh, ethanol is added to two parts of uh, 20% parts of uh, nucleus free water to make it up to 80% ethanol. Remove the final supernatant now and this is when you allow the beads to settle. Now, once the beads are allowed to settle, they should also be allowed to air dry. Now, air drying is one way. Some people tend to heat it to a certain temperature for a smaller amount of time. That's also okay as long as it's not too harsh or too much of a temperature. So once that is done, add your preheated elution buffer onto this mix. What you see now is a real-time footage of beads separating from the mix and all the DNA being released onto the elution buffer. This is when you can label your new tubes uh, and now you're ready to transfer your freshly isolated DNA onto your new MCTs 
and it's ready for your downstream applications. So that's as simple as it can get. The Mac stand that you see is a Cambrian Mac stand 8 station series. If you require any more information about the protocol or the tools that you see in this video uh, that I have not spoken about, please comment in the uh, video link uh, below. We'll be happy to take your questions there. And of course, you can reach out to us anytime on our support email IDs and uh, website. Thank you.